True Joy is recording an episode of Crypto Espresso, only to have it completely irrelevant by the time it's scheduled to go out. Well, such was the case on Friday, so consider that episode Lost Media. Because it's going in the old Crypto Espresso vault. Just like when I recorded that story about Dewey winning against Truman. Anyway, I'm your immortal host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. In case you're just joining us, let me get you up to speed. FTX had a really bad week. First up, multiple sources have confirmed that following discovery of an $8 billion hole in the once leading, now bankrupt FTX exchange's finances, $477 million has been stolen by hackers. The loss adds to the woes of customers who now will recover even less. Suspicions of an inside job were raised, and outrage grew after allegations that founder and former CEO Sam Bankman-Fried used an accounting backdoor to hide a $10 billion transfer to his trading firm Alameda Research. This transfer reportedly included a huge chunk of customer funds. Meanwhile, Elon Musk said he turned down a Bankman-Fried Twitter investment because his bullshit meter was redlining. If timing is everything, Crypto.com's massive transfer of 80% of its total Ether holdings to a Gate.io exchange wallet rather than an internal cold wallet couldn't get much worse. Funds were never in danger as the receiving wallet was one of Crypto.com's own at the rival exchange. But the transfer did cause alarm and then quality control questions just as Crypto.com was attempting to get a now vital proof of reserves audit started. Reports say it may also have set off or at least strengthened a rush to the exit by customers who pulled $53 million into private self-custody wallets. Not your keys, not your crypto, is one of the oldest and most widely given pieces of advice to crypto noobs. The sudden implosion of FTX, one of the largest and most respected exchanges in less than a week, seems to be driving more investors to take heed. A record 106,000 Bitcoin was off-ramped from centralized exchanges this week, with small, medium, and large investors, but not whales, pulling funds. It came as crypto exchange CEOs and big investors reminded everybody of that little nugget of wisdom. Criminal investigators are joining securities regulators in dissecting the gooified remains of FTX in search of misdeeds and bad actors. Along with the US Department of Justice, the Bahamas police announced it is going to investigate if any criminal misconduct occurred. Allegations of customers' funds being secretly shifted to Sam Bankman frieds ailing Alameda research trading firm, a $477 million hack, and the unexplained and premature release of $400 million in FTX's FTT tokens have all played a part in this catastrophic unfolding of events. Unconfirmed reports place Bankman Freed and several top FTX Group execs under supervision in the Bahamas. And finally, what better way to cap off a marathon of bad news than talking about the metaverse? Apple's high-end, high-priced, and highly anticipated augmented reality, virtual reality headset is expected soon. Reportedly, the device could have far better features than Meta's $1,500 MetaQuest Pro, though with a price tag to match. More importantly, it sets up a philosophical battle between Zuckerberg, who believes in traditional gaming-style avatar-centered immersive reality that will dominate work and play, and Apple. The latter seems to be headed to a more AR future and will likely be a closed ecosystem, something that Zuckerberg has ironically hit on as a vector of attack. And speaking of vectors, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A, in this case, liking this video, B, hitting that subscribe button, and C, clicking on that little bell icon to get notified, buzzed, if you will, whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. It's simple trigonometry, really. And how have you been keeping your spirits up in this past week or so? Let us know in those comments below because I read them and I just might shout out my favorites in a future episode. Personally, meditation. Also saturating my brain with an endless scrolling of information so I can't focus on a single emotion for more than three seconds. Oh, 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 almost had me there, brain. Uh-uh. Questions about today's headlines or crypto in general? Why not ask Alex in that description below? Alex is a great resource for all things Web3 and that metaverse. And once again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and hopefully we'll see you today, assuming the ongoing FTX story hasn't been upended by the time this video goes live. Take care.